Hi guys, today I'm just going to review one single fragrance. This sample has been laying in my cupboard uh, forever and I decided to, at the beginning of the week, I decided to start trying it um, and it's called Sumatera. This, the, the fragrance and the house is called Coquillette and it's from uh, Paris, I guess, but it's a French-Italian house. I think the actual perfumes are created in Italy um, and they're all done in collaboration between these two female perfumers, Elise Juaros or Juaros and Rosa Vaya, and I don't know anything about them. Uh, so this is a completely like new house to me, but they do have like 20 something perfumes in their collection and I read a little bit about them and they're, they are, they're kind of a niche house. Um, they've been active since 2012 uh, and they want to kind of be for the, um, for the person who wants to be a little bit more unique and not maybe smell like everybody else. Um, and this, this fragrance is just, I just thought it was just not, not my thing. And now I'm a little more open to like, everything. Uh, I don't look at the notes and say, oh, that's not for me. I, I try everything. And sometimes you find some really good fragrances, even though if, if, even though they're a little bit outside, like your, your favorite kind of category. And this one is like a fresh green patchouli with really soft cinnamon um, and also has some florals and uh, a little bit of vanilla, just, just a hint. It's not a sweet fragrance. It's more dry. And it, there's, a, there's a lot of greenness in there. And the closest that I have in my collection to this that I have already, I brought this out now, is Arbole from Hiram Green. I don't know if they've changed the name now to Arbole, Arbole, like twice. I don't know why they did that. But this has like Tonka, Vanilla, Sandalwood, uh, Cedarwood, and let's see, Tonka and, and Patchouli. Patchouli is like the main player here for sure. Um, and this also has kind of a green... It's, it leans green, and so does this Sumatera. Uh, but this is it's completely different. This is more floral. This has cinnamon. I wouldn't be surprised if this had tonka as well, but it's more of a... This is more of a light fragrance, like a, maybe more of a daytime fragrance. It's not quite as heavy. It's, it sits a little bit closer to the skin. Um, it just has really grown on me. I just find it so... so interesting. And I know I need more because all I had was this little tiny bit. And I just took the last drop and just, I have it right here on my hand. And I think it's so beautiful. I mean, the opening is quite beautiful. Uh, the dry down is even more beautiful. The strange thing is that the card actually gives you the notes and it has like Italian at the top and English at the bottom. And in English, it just gives you like a few cinnamon patchouli, black pepper, white flowers, jasmine, patchouli, musk, cedar in the middle, and then vanilla jasmine in the base. But then when you read the Italian version, I mean, I do pick up a few words, even though I'm not Italian speaking. It says, opoponax, etiop. I mean, that's Ethiopian opoponax, right? Uh, ilang ilang. There's no uh, ilang ilang mention. There's no men mention of that in the English version. And also tuberose and iris and gardenia um, and something called gel somino. I don't know what that means. So I'm not sure, like, if they've just summarized it in English and then, like, if you're Italian speaking, you get more information. I thought that was kind of strange, but um, it does say musk, too. Um, and it also gives you a little more information about where the different ingredients come from. I'm not yet at that point that I can even distinguish between, like, a patchouli that's from Sumatra or from somewhere else. Um, but this is patchouli from Sumatra, if that makes any sense to you. Um, I just find that this is... I found this now. If they... They sell it at a, um, a web, a web on, uh, online store called Parfum Maria, and they have, I think, free postage over a certain amount. And there you can also order samples. So if you'd like to try this, I bet you can get a hold of it somewhere. If you're in the States, I'm not so sure. Um, and then they have their own website as well. You can get the 10 milliliter um, for like 45 euro maybe with the shipping. Um, I'm, I'm thinking about actually trying maybe a few travel sizes and actually blind buying maybe one or two fragrances from this house because I just I don't think I'll be able to get a hold of these otherwise. Uh, do you know anything about this house? Can you tell me something about it? Have you tried any of their fragrances? I'm just really curious to find out because um, this one really has... Oh, oh, by the way, it says Benzoin too. And Tolu Colombiano. I think that's Tolu Balsam, I'm guessing. Um, so I don't know. Maybe there were, Maybe it does have smoky tones like a little incense thrown in there, but it's super soft and super like, I don't find this to be a difficult fragrance. I mean, it definitely, I think you have to sort of like patchouli. If you hate patchouli, you won't like this, but it has a little bit of a medicinal quality to it, just like this does. 
And when Arbolé, when I first uh, encountered this fragrance, I felt that this had a medicinal quality. I thought it smelled like like a little bit licorice, like cough medicine, um, especially like before it like dries down. It has it, it, it had it's really really special. I thought it was really strange. It was kind of it went from a from from a hate to a hate love to a love. It was not love at first sniff at all. And I think a little bit maybe the same with this Sumatera, but I'm really, really curious about, the, you know, exploring this house some more. I wish I could get a hold of some of their fragrances. Um, maybe there's a discovery set where you can get, like, all the samples for a certain price. I haven't looked into that. I have to find out. Um, but I know a friend of mine has, she's not really impressed with their work, and I trust her judgment. But on the other hand, you know, every everyone's taste is different, and um, our taste is not, it does overlap a little bit, but it's absolutely not the same. So um, uh, I think maybe I will, sometimes I guess maybe you just have to blind buy if you can't get a hold of stuff. But I'll ask some, I'm having a big uh, perfume meetup here on Sunday. There are going to be 16 people coming, or including myself, 16. And then a few have said maybe, so I don't know, maybe we'll be 20 of us. And we'll be, you know, hanging out, uh, discussing perfume, sniffing, swapping, and just having fun. And I'm sure someone has heard of this brand. Um, I'm going to let them know in the Facebook group that I'm interested in finding more fragrances. And if anyone has, they can bring. Um, our community is, uh, is a lot of fun. And um, usually you can get a hold of stuff if you just kind of ask around. Um, anyway, that was my recommendation for today. Somatera by Coquillette Paris. Um, Good luck in finding something from the the house. It might it might be a little difficult. I'm not sure. Bye.